I remember I made an old video like a while back, like a way back. I think it was like six months ago. I'm not sure. But that's not too long ago. But for me, it is kind of long ago. But I came to like the same conclusion because, you know, what happened in that video was kind of sad. And that is my mother aging. I've seen like two major overarching wrinkles on my mom's face. I was like, fuck, dude. I was like, bro. Like, this shit's real. This shit's finite. It's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna come, and it's gonna come quick. Pause, and I'm saying pause, but like it's not even like like a funny joke thing, bro. Your your death, her death, mortality. It's all real. And it's coming very very quick, and you don't know when it's gonna exactly strike, but you know for sure it is going to strike. And that just like it just grinded my gears back into action, and I, I it's just gonna. I'm gonna caveat. I'm not caveat. I'm gonna. Tangent into another video like topic, but I just wanted to talk about it here and now Bro, my recent videos have been so dog shit like I'm just all over the place I Haven't been able to like focus on the topic. I haven't been able to explore the topic fully Why it's because like it isn't time to do that. It isn't time to express myself or and like, Give you life-changing advice. It's time for me to personally just fucking start grinding on the main videos grinding on the videos and grinding like as hard as I can, the website, ecom, everything, just work like robotically work because it isn't time to just feel and think and like you know go through the motions. It's, bro, it's time to like ingest. It's time to digest information, ingest information, execute some information, and like grind, so you can have that better life. Like, what what is the point of just like? Of just, I don't, I'm not necessarily like making. I wasn't really making like dumb videos. I'm like expressing my emotions. I, I, I do think there is value in that, of, of course. But like, what's the point of just dilly dallying? I think that's a better way to describe it. Like, what, what is the point of dilly dallying? There is no point of dilly dallying because the more you dilly dally, the, the less that you, the less time you have for yourself. Just truly work hard. Like all my videos so far, I've just been trying to convince you, and not really you. It's kind of me. Convince you that yeah, bro, you could you could grind, you can become successful. What well, what's really stopping you realistically? It's you. I don't want to fucking be like, what's really what's realistically stopping you? Pause. Not like not like a gay pause, but like I'm just gonna pause for dramatic effect. You. No, it, bro, it's you. It's all you. Like you want that life? I remember I was thinking just another uh, the other day, even though I shouldn't be. I mean, like, yeah, I was I was thinking whilst working, so that's pretty excusable. And I was just like, what's what's stopping me from becoming a millionaire? Well, let's think about it on a deeper level. Why do I want to become a millionaire? Because I want to give my mom a good life and my family a good life and have a, my family on my own. And be able to do whatever I want, whenever I want, however I want. Like I said before previously in another video. Freedom. The reason why my mom has to work because I don't have enough money. Because I'm not a millionaire. People think themselves, well, you don't need to be a millionaire. You don't have to look at it. Like Gary Vee says, you can you can wait, you can pause. When this like little Asian kid was telling him, I say little Asian kid because that guy was shorter than Gary Vee or some shit, if I remember correctly. Gary's like 5'2". <laughs> Fair enough though, he's a millionaire, so fuck it. I was thinking to myself like, you can just become a millionaire and give back to your parents. Like the signs of mortality. The thing about like sense of mentality that you see on your mother, it can be mis- easily mitigated with millions of dollars. Millions of dollars mean better food, better lifestyle, less stress, you know, <laughs> more fun, more stability. Wow. Wouldn't becoming a millionaire be great? What does a millionaire need in order to become a millionaire a plan to become a millionaire it sounds so stupid but it's the truth like a lot of guys in self improvement they work 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 but like they don't self analyze after they work and although I haven't been working hard enough I, I can I can surely attest to that like I need to fucking come up with a plan to make millions of dollars how can you try to make millions of dollars without having a plan <sighs> it's not like boxing where you can just work tirelessly spar fight, train, you self-analyze your boxing, but you just focus on your craft, your boxing. 
and then up a certain point, you fight the best of the best, or you have the big money fight because you're talking so much shit, like Oscar De La Hoya and I forgot about the other guy, um, not Arturo Rogati, but someone else as well. Oscar De La Hoya, he fought like a big trash talker back in the day, and I, I watched this fight actually, but I wasn't even like conscious, but I saw the trash talk. Even me, like a non boxing fan at the time, I still saw the fight. The guy was fucking bullying on him. And I was thinking to myself, like, yeah, bro, like, you get a fight like this, and then you get paid millions of dollars. It's a game. You get in and out. The difference with business business is that you can stay in the game for as, how, for as, however long you want, really. Because at a certain point, it really boils down to your decisions. And your action. It isn't like boxing, where you need to make a, like a very strong decision at a very young age. You have to take immense action. You have to do this for a very, very long uh, period of time, perhaps three decades. Same thing again and again, monotonous, robotic, ta- robotic-like tasks. And then you maybe get a payout. <laughs> it's a very, it's a very risky endeavor, no doubt. You have to be good at boxing, no doubt. But that's just one example out of countless other millions of examples. Is it raining? No, it's slightly windy. Uh, so that's why my videos have been shit recently Because I'm not in the mood To make good videos To passionately like express myself It's more so I need to fucking lock in I need to really push the boundaries The level has been set I need to push the envelope I need to push the level I need to do more, make more And like th- 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 That's the reality of the situation What 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 else can I do? Like, I, I can't make good videos. I have a lot of re- re- audio recordings. I have to make it to like, actual videos. I have the recording into like some gameplay. And then after that for the main channel. I can you know. Sh- cut, cut it up. Get the good bits. Animate those good bits. Make a coherent video. Sure. But like. Obviously that's just. We're not when it's work. Like it's not difficult per se. It's more just. just the right. Doing the right thing. Consistently day after day. Why am I voice cracking, slumbering, and slurring my words? Jesus Christ. It's more so doing the right thing consistently, cons- consistently, every single day, day after day, for a while. And after a while, you have your results. And then you can use the results to, and then, and then again, passionately, you know, pitch and, you know, express yourself. But there needs to be a time, I think, in self improvement in any young man or young woman's life, that you just put your head down on the ground. On the ground, head down, touch wood to the desk, and just push yourself to the absolute limit and work yourself into the ground almost like work, like a workaholic. And people say that, well, I don't this bad, you can't promote a workaholic lifestyle. And I, I agree, you can't promote, no, you can promote a workaholic lifestyle, but it isn't healthy to do so. But then again, you look at individuals that reach the top, they all had their period in which they were working tirelessly on a project. On a, on a business On an e-commerce website This is my way it's Jesus Christ It's literally 9am in the morning And I'm yawning I'm always tired at this time I don't know why Even when I was going to work I was tired I'm just tired in the morning Maybe I'll drink some coffee Anyway I'm, I'm going off topic here There needs to be a period in the time Where you are You are working hard And you're working Like a Brian Johnson for example You know Literally top 0001% Rejuvenation athlete Let's say this for example. He himself had to work, but he doesn't say. He says, he says something like, "Yeah, I wish I was like more healthy." But motherfucker, you probably wouldn't have reached the that point where you're mili- you're worth multi millions. You're in a like fantastic mansion. You, you're able to spend two million dollars on a rejuvenation program. You probably wouldn't have reached this point, lest you didn't work hard on your passion project, your project, which was. Blueprint, and which was a brain ink, brain ink. I don't know the the nuance of his the company names, but fuck it, you know his company and his tech product. If he didn't work hard, he wouldn't have reached that point, and he wouldn't be in a position where he can just do whatever the fuck he want, like at this very moment. So, and that took two decades of just hard graft, taking the risk, calculated risk, of course, making the right decisions, and pushing the envelope to the point where. Like he is a multi-millionaire, and he is able to 
have like a good relationship with the son because the son respects him for the individual that he's become like to this day. All these things they all they come in line together, mate, mate man. They won't come in line together, bro. Come to line together, man. Yeah, they all they all come together. They all they all. I, I'm stuttering and slurring. It's my job to talk, but I can't even do my job well. Fuck's sake, man. <laughs> Let's talk more action. Let's talk more work. Let's talk more walk. People say it's easy to talk the talk, but is it easy to walk the walk? And I hear that all the time. I think it's simultaneously difficult. It's dependent on which era you're in, which season you're in. If you're in a season like I am, where I am more inclined to just work, it will be extremely difficult to, to talk grandiose when your inclination is to work. Simultaneously, it's more difficult to work when your inclination is and your season is to just talk. The problem with talking is that you need to have a good level of, not necessarily pedigree, Not necessarily testimony. What's what's the word I'm looking for? Proof? Evidence? Backing? You need to have some sort of level of... Not necessarily showmanship per se. More so... like Like an example of your capability. I don't know what the word is exactly. Let me try to find the word. So we're gonna like start talking for like two hours. Sorry about that. I don't know where I was with the other video. Uh, I'm just gonna continue on. You know, you have to be able to demonstrate excellence. You have to be able to demonstrate competence. I think that was the word I was looking for. Competence, validation, aptitude, proficiency, prowess. These are the, th- the qualities that you must I think present. When when you reach that period in your in your t- uh, period of time in your life that you need when you need to talk, you know, like for example, Andrew Tate wouldn't be Andrew Tate without all the kickboxing, without the millionaire status, without the girls, without the lifestyle, without without the external factors that embody the spirit of Andrew Tate. He would not be Andrew Tate. I think that when you do reach a period in which you you just talk. Instead of working, instead of walking, then it kind of it's it's kind of blessed, but it's kind of also kind of like I'm not I don't know I'm not sure I haven't reached that period in my life yet, even though I am kind of doing it. It's just if it, it's almost as if I have to discipline myself to make these videos because otherwise I don't really want to make these videos. I want to do some other shit. I want to do work. Anyways, that's pretty much it for this video. I don't want to, I don't know what else to say. I don't I'm not taking too much too much of your time. Catch you guys in the next video. Peace. Leave me no damn mediocre. Oh my god, I'm revisiting this video after a whole one week. I just have to crop out. If, if, oh my god, if you guys could see the original video, you guys would be so mad at me. It's just me playing Roblox. I'm, I'm, I'm really dead honest with you. Like, I've been playing Roblox for the past eight years, on and off. I recently started getting back to Roblox, and I semi enjoy it. I actually kind of enjoy it, I can't lie. It was kind of fun when I played, um, it was like it was World War II game. I feel old when I say that. I don't even know the name anymore. Um, it, it was kind of fun, but I should probably stop, <laughs> like, like, what the fuck am I doing, I'm playing fucking Roblox, I'm almost 20, I'm almost 20, I'm 19 this year, uh, in 7 months, I'm 19, I, I, I literally remember recording my 18, like, my 18th, like, birthday video on this channel, I, in that entire year, what have I done, an entire half year, what have I done in those past six months? I haven't grinded on the channel. I haven't done anything. Like, it's just so fucking annoying. Like, no more talking, ladies and gentlemen. I have done enough talking. You have done enough talking. If you're in a improvement and you're, like, doing your friends, oh, my God, we need to hop on this, like, Andrew Tate or whatever. Like, stop fucking talking. Get back to fucking work. You must, how do I say this in the, in the thing, in, in the video as well? You must demonstrate competence. Everything else follows after. Like imagine my ability to rate myself. Imagine my having my ability to rate myself. Right, I I can put I can, despite me stuttering all over the place. I would like from the evidence that I have piled up so far in my in my normal life, uh, the evidence would suggest that I have a very strong ability to rate myself. However, when it comes to my ability to 
demonstrate competence, supreme competence at least, in the realms of endeavor that I, I choose, this is seldom come. Because I don't apply myself enough. No more fucking talk. More fucking work. Work, 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 work. I'm like Rihanna up in this bitch. Work, 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 work. Like, uh, it is so frustrating to me to see all these young men with nothing to their name. They're not physically fit. They don't look good. They're ugly. They're broke. And they come on YouTube and they talk like 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 the most. Like, I will, I will, I will. You see them in fucking two years or one year, they do nothing. In two years, they do nothing. In three years, they're not even uploading anymore. Like, that's the reality of the situation, ladies and gentlemen. It's the most frustrating bullshit ever. Because I am, and I was, and probably I could be in that position, depending on my choices, if I'm a fucking idiot and I just keep doing the wrong choices and being a fucking, like, a moron. It could be, it could definitely be, no, it probably is me. Straight up. I need to be making more videos, mother trucker, mother fluffer, dude. More videos. Come on, Jim Jim. Like, it's just, uh, I know what it's like. I know what it's like to have the work in front of you that you need to do and you desperately know that you need to do it, but you don't do it. Not because you're like a, I mean, potentially because like you, 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 you walk around like you're a loser, but also because of the fact that, you know, you've never had that, like, thing ever that you're just so consistent in that gives you, like, like consistent day-to-day -day rewards, you feel? Like, for example, if I'm a good, like, my friend's good, my friend's a really good uh, ping pong player. His younger brother is even better ping pong player. Like, a multi, you know, national champion, multi gold medalist uh, on the, in, like, uh, in small tournaments, Olympic bronze, that type of shit, right? If he was still playing ping pong, he'll be on, like, he would, he would be in a very good position if he was still playing ping pong. But, no, he quit. And he doesn't even give a fuck, does he? He just doesn't care. So, like, that, that's how it be, that's how it, that's how it is, bro, that's that literally how it is, this is how the majority approach life, they do something for a while, if it's good, if it's bad, it doesn't matter, after a while they quit, and I can say the same thing for myself, but you can't be like this, bro, no fucking talking, just walking, like, Mike Tyson is the embodiment of this idea of no talk, just walk, he was knocking out dudes, he had no trash talk, he just said, he just said, Hi, Mike Tyson. Watch me beat Pam McNeil. Come, guys, cable. <laughs> Hi, Mike Tyson. Watch me beat Pam McNeil. Stand the night cable. Like, he was purely action. He was purely... How do I say this? Not vigorosity. That's the, I keep saying vigorosity. It's not even a real word. I keep saying it, though. It's, it's the most bullshit, whatever. Vigorosity. He was pure vigor. He was pure, like, adrenaline. He was pure, like, power. That's what Mike Tyson, like, embodied. That's the spirit in which Mike Tyson embodied in the 90s. So, that, that's what I'm trying to tell you as well. That's what you have to embody as well. You can't embody the, like, like the Andrew Tate talking, talking. I'm top G, I'm top striker, and I'm four-time world champion. You're not a four-time world champion. You're not a multi-millionaire. You don't get a bunch of bitches. Put your fucking head down to the grindstone. This is not the time to talk. And you might think to yourself, oh, but like, well, you know, the video, when I, when I make it, when I make it, when I make it. If your focus is just purely talking, you will not make it. All right, guys? You should seldom talk. You should talk every so often, and the majority and the bulk or majority of your time should be purely dedicated to working. That's all I have to say. Leave me no comment. Go peace. Enjoy, uh, thing. Hope you enjoyed the video.